So now there are new developments in the case of Juan Manuel Montez. He's 23 years old, brought to the U.S. as a child illegally. He's in Mexico at the moment and claims in a lawsuit to be the first so-called dreamer to face deportation under President Donald Trump. The administration saying he was not actually deported. We're now learning that the judge presiding over his case will be an Obama appointee. That is Judge Gonzalo Curiel. He's the same judge who handled the Trump University matter and it was repeatedly attacked by Mr. Trump during the campaign. So, what's going to give here? William Lajeunesse watching that story live in a, uh, L.A. rather. And William, um, is he or is he not a dreamer? Well, a dreamer, first of all, is an undocumented immigrant who was brought to the U.S. by their parents as a child. President Obama created the DACA program five years ago to allow kids to work or go to school without a fear of deportation. Now, here are the rules. The permit must be renewed every two years, and you can't leave the country. Otherwise, the permit is canceled, and you lose their protection. Now, Juan Manuel Montes claims in a lawsuit that he was having lunch with a friend on the U.S. side when he was stopped by the Border Patrol. And when he couldn't produce his DACA ID, he had had it, he was deported. Now, Homeland Security says that is not accurate, saying, quote, there are no records or evidence to support his claim that he was detained or taken to the Calexico port of entry on February 18th. What they do say, and Montes admits, is one day later he tried to enter illegally by climbing the border fence, and he was caught and he was deported. DHS say, says he made no mention of his DACA status, and it wouldn't matter anyways because the permit he did have was violated when he went over to Mexico. Mm. Well, why so, is this being made into <clears throat> such a big deal? Because it's the first one or not? Well, it's actually kind of the second, but, 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 the, but the facts of the case obviously are in dispute in terms of was he taken off the street and deported or did he, was he caught coming over. There are 750,000 dreamers. President Trump has said he would not deport them. Critics have been looking for a case to highlight what they consider Trump's inhumane immigration policies. Illinois Senator Dick Durbin called the story disturbing. Nancy Pelosi called it alarming. Montez attorneys have filed a lawsuit because they believe that he was deported illegally that first time. Yesterday, Attorney General Jeff Sessions addressed the case. DACA enrollees are not being targeted. I don't know why this individual was picked up. Uh, everybody in the country illegally uh, is subject to being deported. So people come here and they stay here a few years and somehow they think that they're not subject to being deported. Well, they are. So the judge in the case, Gonzalo Curiel, he handled the Trump University case bill. As you recall, candidate Trump said Curiel couldn't be objective because of his Mexican heritage, although he was born in Indiana. So the facts of this case still are in dispute. Well, thank, thank you, William. William Lodginas, uh, watching that for us there in L.A.